if like you guys are just series. new to the stream um we have two special guests um we got johnny a and bane hallow two of the top players of mvci roughly you could probably say they're like within the top three or top one two three four five whatever you can argue i mean it's undisputed they're like the top five you know two of them are in the top five best player but yeah so they're basically guiding your boy unlike about the game because you know i'm kind of like i've lost touch in the mbci um tournament scene um as far as playing the game but uh, these guys are been active and been so amazing and has progressed the community to new heights when it comes to the meta you know alongside with the other top players like so it's actually nice but yeah so right now we're talking about the tier list um a bit that they that, that that they've made or agreed upon by most of the community so that's what I'm, that's what i'm doing i'm asking quite random questions you know but yeah, so Chris Redfield being so shitty, that's fucking good. Because he's annoying <laughs> in general. But I'm surprised, like, if they nerfed him, but they buffed their mom from MBC3. And they buffed Ghost Rider, which is okay. Okay, so Hulk is bad. Yeah, Hulk is bad. And Ryu. Black Panther is bad, yeah. huh? Black Panther is the... bad? I think it's he like... should be slightly higher, but he's, like... He's not terrible, but the other characters all do something better than him. Like, he just... The main move he has is wall cling, and you can't block when you're jumping around. So you have to be really ambiguous with, like, your dashing. So, like, you have to fake and faint a lot. And most other characters don't have to do that because they just have really high-priority massive hitboxes because it's a Marvel game. So it's like, you just run into stuff constantly on accident because he can't block while he's dashing around, which is, like, his only saving grace. Yeah, oh, and he sense. and he loses to like projectile heavy characters, which is like honestly every character in top ten. All the high a, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, have a nasty projectile or a fat hitbox that just you know, swats you know. them out of the air. So you know how like when they made Marvel Infinite, I'm gonna tell you guys this, okay? That's a secret. <laughs> they wanted to avoid the durability aspect of Marvel Three, okay? So. They thought, we're going to make some projectiles not durability-based. They're going to make it hit-based. Amount of hits in general, right? That's the durability count in this game. And then we're going to make some beams just really shitty, full screen, but really good point blank, you know? So they want to deviate away from that. Well, guess what the fuck happened? It still became fucking projectile at the end of the day. Which is, which is a testament of how good you guys are. But progressing the 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 meta of the game regardless. So at the end of the day, the top players of of any Marvel game will utilize like safer play in general, like to be a stable. Like because the only way for somebody to be a top player in Marvel games is being able to not always just be like doing random 50-50s up close. You know, kind of like you know some other fighting games. You can kind of be played that way. You kind of have some stability with your gameplay, and these guys have came up with a way that for them to beat most of the players or have a high, very high win rate, and that's basically how it is. And you guys have basically changed the meta that way, which is actually amazing. Okay, so when I was playing, um, which is, I thought Hagar was gonna be good, but what happened to Hagar? Why is he bad? Uh. He's bad because for some reason they made command grabs dog shit and like you can't combo, does no damage. Like it's bad. And like a lot uh, of the, the high tiers are just projectile based, so like look at the high tiers. Dante has massive hitboxes, zero, dorm, Gamora, Winter Soldier, Raccoon, all those characters just obliterate him. He just never gets in. Same as like Marvel Three with Magneto, you just run away all day. And then the biggest problem with him as a character, along with some other characters, is his level three is a command grab. So you can't cash out, which is like the design of the game. So mm, it's just right. it, it's a huge hindrance. It's a huge hindrance to not have level threes. If you can do stuff like in this game where I'm sure you played it for long enough to know, you know, yeah, yeah. super you can't counter switch. So like a lot of times you'll, okay, I'm going to land one hit immediately super. They can't counter switch. I'm going to tag my other character storm level three. Well, Hagger doesn't have that. So if you're playing your other character and you happen to get a hit, that's okay, I need to kill this guy immediately. Let me super and then level three and he'll kill him because it's an important character. I need to get him off the screen. Hagger just comes in, stands there, level three's air, and it's just, that's a big problem with him as a character. Oh, okay. So I also thought Chun-Li was going to be very strong. But then I also thought Spencer was going to be broken because of his fucking armor piercer. But you guys only have him as B and Chun-Li as b 
Okay, so the weird part about that is those two characters are the two best characters at the start of the round. But once you get past round start, it's not much for them yeah. to do. They need their partner to help them, or they're just going to kind of be sitting around with really predictable approaches and stuff. So you can't really do much if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, their neutral is like basically nothing. Their neutral mm. is just tagging their partner and hope their partner do something for them. They're skinny versions of Hagger. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. And then Thor is probably the same as well. I, I've Thor seen... is, uh... Yeah. Yeah, he just has Honestly, B tier so... is probably just like a high mid tier. Honestly. Mm. And also, I've seen... Because all these characters are viable. I've seen Knives play this guy, Sigma. Sigma? Yeah. He but... plays, uh... The way he plays his team is like, throws Sigma out there as a meat shield and just charges up spells with yeah, Dorn. Yeah, so... Which so is this really game is good. Obviously, two v two. Like a lot of the meta is having a character that can just kind of cover for your good character. So, yeah, yeah. Like for your, for my team, I play Winter Soldier Chun. So like the good thing is if I if they're zoning me out, I just switch to Winter Soldier. Okay, well now I have Metal Arm. I'm zoning you out. So you have to get close to me. And then if you get close to me, I tag in Chun, and now I'm close to you. So it's like little things like that. Even though my character gets destroyed in like a one v one, it's like you set up your other character to be in favorable positions more often. And then you hit him with the things that obviously make that character good. So teams like Knives team, Dorm obviously is a great keep away character. His spells are really strong. And while Sigma doesn't really have mix-ups or anything like that, what he does excel at is just throwing his body across the screen, being armored, taking up a lot of space. So when he does that and Dorm is just running away, charging spells, teleporting, you can force accidental 50-50s with like shoulder charge teleport, stuff like that, while you're building all your spells. So he's essentially playing it as a 2v1 team. Uh, yeah, even yeah. Though, you know, so game. you have a support character that's very good to actually, yeah. So your team is very complete in that sense, I guess. Mm -hmm. And also, there's somebody here in the list that I was surprised to see now. So I'm surprised that Nemesis is high tier like this. Oh, that dude. <laughs> character <laughs> is broke. His super, like... for some reason, is like one frame. It doesn't make sense. Like his reversal super, if you're it like you did you ever play Marvel 2 when it had the, the hyper viper beam that you couldn't block? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's basically what Nemesis has. Like he has like literally a one frame super. If you thought about jumping any supers, it's you're just getting hit. Yeah. <laughs> it's really broke. He has armor on armor, his heavies. Yeah. Uh that's armor massive. on literally everything. Yeah, his light kick has armor, his forward heavy has armor, it goes full screen. It's basically Dante's stinger. Uh, he has a pretty good super tag uh, with the rocket super. Um, he's just really good. He has a, yeah. one of the better command grabs in the game. Uh, he probably has the best command it. grab, honestly. Yeah, like he, he's just really good. And then he has what? this like body press. Like uh, the, you the know only, Hagger Honestly, the, the only body. reason he's probably like not top 10 is because he has a command grab level 3. If you have yeah. a normal level 3, he <laughs> would be good. top 10 free. He's really good. I can't believe he's top tier. Like characters like this, I always assume like so you know how like in Marvel Three you play a like, grab if you pick fucking Nemesis or random ass Hagar with no Hulk whatever you are just gonna You're get styled on you're gonna get styled <laughs> on like they're gonna get fucking styled on like you you're gonna look like you're it's just so bad but then in this one you have to fight him huh yeah it's like the yeah. partner thing that I was saying is like he kind of just sets up his partners really well while just randomly blowing stuff up. Uh, like, so for example, let's say he's full screen, right? He'll just do that stinger move that's armored and tag. And it's three hits, so you can basically full screen confirm off it. So if you think they're going to do anything, you kind of just throw it out, tag, and you just, whatever they do, it's like, oh, cool, I hit you. Guess you'll die now. Like, and it's safe. Like, there's really no cons to doing that. It's just stuff like that that makes him really strong. Yeah, so I guess he acts like Ghost Rider, too. Because Ghost Rider is like, it's pretty scrubby. And I play Ghost yeah, yeah, Rider. Yeah. <laughs> I played Ghost Rider. So yeah. let, me tell, let me tell you guys a true story. When 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 Takewa first started playing the game, he didn't know what team to play. And I said, so I told him, my man, I, do you know my second team? I played Ghost Rider and Nova. And then I told him, bro, just pick this team. 100% you're going to win. There's no way you're going <laughs> to fucking lose to these motherfuckers. You, you pick, cursed us, man. You fucking pick Ghost Rider. Uh, this is a true story. I serve my grandma. Like she's like this like you pick Ghost Rider, all you do is you fucking super then tag, bro. That's it. It's the scrubbiest <laughs> thing. All you do jump H, fucking do the fucking ding 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 tag. Fucking it's so scrubby, but I promise you you can you know, 
You can actually start yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it worked. by that super nasty fast. And then yeah, for that some reason, is also frame one for some reason, and is like full screen. <laughs> yeah, for it's some reason, uh, Tank was one of my closest friends, and for uh, he lives here in NorCal as well, and he's so nice guy. Uh -huh. And and Tequa has always been very optimal in general. And oh yeah, I didn't even know that my homeboy was gonna go to the fucking hyperbolic time chamber and come out <laughs> with like some fucking two hundred percent. Like he was like randomly sending me fucking videos right while I was in Philippines. He would send me some videos, bro. That was I hilarious. I feel like I came up with this I shit now. Hold up, Joseph, stop talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah so i was like i was like um i started send, sending me videos of like 200 percent fucking things i was like wait and so mind you I, I i don't know much about what happened but i start seeing videos of mvci when the other teammate doesn't leave the screen he just keeps staying and i was like what the fuck is this a bug you know because you know <laughs> when, when I was playing, there was no such thing. Homeboy leaves. After he does his thing, he gets hit. Your partner leaves, right? This one, he just keeps getting... Is, I called it a re-happy birthday. So he just keeps getting happy birthday over and over again. And I don't know what happened. Why, why is, is there a yeah, so frame? That's, that's always been in the game. Um, it's just people weren't abusing it. Um, one of the things that happens is when you hit a character and you're still comboing the primary character, um you can kind of just relaunch them again because they flip out for certain moves that won't hit them or when you do a spike really high in the air so you know how like let's say you do heavy kick really high in the air the the character bounces off the floor and you get a combo right mm -hmm. so when the assist happens with that let's say i'm comboing both characters i jump really high in the air like with chun li i do like three jumps and then i kick them down what will happen is the assist gets knocked down but they don't get uh, ground bounced like every other character so they recover halfway down and the other character bounces off the floor. So then all the way down, they're vulnerable still. So you tag in your other character, you hit him with the tag crash, and then it hits both characters. You're still comboing the primary character, but it resets the damage and the scaling on the assist. Yeah, I know. I know that at least. But this one, when the Ghost Rider is doing the fucking the dancing, when you guys doing the fucking thing with the fucking chain and they're yeah, just singing super. It's the same thing. It's the same thing, yeah, right? Because, uh... Yeah, so it's basically yeah, because the, the combo assist with, like, gets launch. reset midair. Yeah, so like so let's scrubby. say you end a combo that has a lot of hit stun, you just do launch, right? So the character, the assist flips out, and then before they touch the ground, they're still vulnerable. So he basically launches and does super immediately. The assist falls down, and now they're getting hit by the super because they didn't hit the ground, and you're guessing with your main character. If you get hit, it resets the scaling on both, so you just do a brand new combo. <laughs> so I'm sure you guys have hit, gotten hit by that by take was bullshit, right? Oh yeah. There's That's definitely so games where if you don't block one yeah, mix-up, you, you actually just lose the whole game. <laughs> that is insane. That, that like we we yeah. Me and Johnny both have favorable win records against Takeo sure. just because of like we play him so much. But mm -hmm. yeah, there's just some games where it's just like, well, I guess I automatically lose. It's like zero in Marvel Three. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just get hit and you're like, I guess I lose. <laughs> yeah, I like I like that he's actually updated that meta on that kind of like duo that he got yeah. going. You know. Okay, so yeah, he has probably the nastiest happy birthday stuff. Um, when you guys, so obviously Dante is always top tier and zero, anyways, and Dormammu, but Dormammu is still top tier, huh? Even despite yeah. the nerfs that he got. <laughs> yeah, same with Dante. He's still the best character in the game after a whole page of nerfs. And then the Gamora, which is the bitch with auto neutral. Oh my god, yep. I couldn't believe that. Yeah. Do you understand? Before Gamora, brain dead neutral. With Gamora what before, you can reflect the goddamn fucking bullets, okay? I don't know what happened midway to that version when the bitch bullets was getting reflected to now, shit is not being reflected. I don't know what happened. Who was the person who let that shit rock? You know? Yeah, there's, it's the only projectile in the game that you can't reflect that's an actual projectile. Like, beams, obviously, you can't reflect. Yeah. But I think it's the only projectile, really, that just can't get reflected. I'm surprised they... That, that was definitely a mistake, by the way. If there was a oh, yeah, it's yeah, broke. that's a mistake. It's absolutely broke. That's a mistake because the version that Gamora that I knew was had a projectile that was reflectable. It's kind of like the Dante when he does jumps and then he does the shooting oh, down straight kick. down, yeah. whatever that shit is. 
that one you can reflect right and you can kind of get a punish but like jamora is the kind of like that as well but i'm surprised that you know this version was different um the only thing that that to be absolutely honest you know because when i talked to some of the people that who tested the game i didn't test the game but the people that i knew that tested the game they didn't they always knew who are the pretty good characters but they didn't expect that this this rocket raccoon was going to be good so rocket raccoon was like a was definitely some a character that we did not know or the devs didn't know that it was going to be a good character like completely like he this fucker went out uh, yeah. yeah under the radar i think it's a uh... It's space it is stone, multiple space traps, stone. space stone. And, like, just the uh, fact that space stone is so strong in the game, and, I mean, traps are always going to be good, right? Like, if you just put one down and sit behind it. So he basically puts traps down and just spams space, and, like, what you used to do before, like what you were saying, you basically get boxed before anyone's even getting hit, and then you hit him once, box him, and kill somebody. Uh, that's just kind yeah. of his thing. He has really good mix-ups, too, like, with the His high-low is really the, the good. Up, up. Like, you can do the up-up, go to flight really low, and get overheads, or double overheads. That's pretty good. Um... Yeah, that's yeah, his neutral is literally just put down double traps and mash space down. That's your neutral with rocket. <laughs> you don't have to do anything else. Oh my god! It's like this is too sick. Either either they ha they're forced to block and you get a mix up, or you just build like twenty percent of space stone just by yeah, since mashing. Yes, fire it. trap leaves you blocking. Like he forces a free mix up for himself if you ever block it, and then if you get hit, obviously he gets a combo because it lasts like eight years, and then it's just he just sits there, builds bar, and then eventually hits you. Because anyone that doesn't have a projectile, he just sits on traps. You can't hit him. And he's little, so it's like most tri-dash type characters won't hit him by the time they get to him. Something's already oh. hitting them. It's just something. So, like so the only character here that I'm not as familiar is Zero and Winter Soldier. But then, we ha so why Zero still became top tier eventually? I think because the version, the version that I played, the motherfucker had that DP and then the super yep. and then the tag. Yep. That's when like we were so annoyed because after he does the DP, oh, you blocked it. You cancel the super. Oh, you blocked it. Oh, you still blocked mix. it. Let me just tag. And then you mix. Yep. Yeah. So that's what, what happened. Yep. Yeah, what he's happened still like here? that. He has the, yeah, he's... why they gave some character with massive hitboxes, great projectiles, clones. Why they gave him a bust out super, I have no idea. It's It's almost unpunishable by a good player. The way you have to punish it is you have to like basically really hard read it and do something really preemptively. So like any good player is like, okay, well, he's running at me. He's right in my face. You have to, let's say, super jump to get out of it, right? So you super jump and hit him when he's going up with the tornado. That's one of the punishes for it. But it's like if you're a good player and you're waiting, all right, I'm zero. I know I have this as an option. If someone super jumps in the air, why the fuck would you bust out? They're in the air. Yeah. So you yeah. just walk away. Like it doesn't matter. So in this game, it's basically yeah. you can't pressure him. And he has he wins neutral the same way he did in Marvel Three because he had just better buttons than everybody has dashes and, and projectiles. It's just it's it's stupid. I don't know I don't know who the fuck thought slowing clones down was a fucking <laughs> nerf. Yeah, they thought that, that was that. Is... Yeah, they thought it was They're gonna like, slow yeah, it this, down. Yeah, just make clones slower to be a nerf. It's actually ten times yeah, better. It takes up for it more space slower. now and lasts longer. It, it's horribly yeah. broken. <laughs> there's there's multiple times where I've actually hit zero during oh, yeah, clones, the clone, but the clones will hit me because it's all <laughs> delayed and I'll drop okay. the combo. Okay, you gotta understand when when they make, every time they make a Marvel game, they always keep it in mind and this is me, I'm telling you guys this, this is the truth, okay? They always keep it in mind to not make the game fair because the reason why Marvel games are very fun for the people who loves Marvel games is because broke. it's broken. They're all broken. So, yeah, so yeah. you gotta understand every character is supposed to have like something absolutely obnoxiously broken okay <laughs> what happened to chris but that problem is is that there's always gonna be shitty characters okay there's yeah. always gonna be shitty characters in, in in any marvel game it's because it's just some archetypes in general they're just gotta be whack the only thing that it doesn't make sense to me is why is my bitch captain marvel whack you know what i mean she was supposed to uh, be good but she didn't really honestly become good it's weird but, you know. She's probably another character I would probably put like high B tier. But it's just she's a budget version of Ultron in every way. Yeah, yeah, like, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, she's like so Storm. No if her if her Tridas was faster, she'd probably be a lot better. She's like Storm in Marvel 3. Like why would you pick Storm? You pick Magneto. You know? 
Like, yeah. Yeah. Why exactly. would you do yeah. that? But she's not. But yeah, doesn't mean Storm the... is bad. But she's just not better. You know. Yeah. All uh, the high tiers have really good heavies. So the one thing that would make her really strong is the armor. But most of the top tiers have really high or really big heavy buttons that yeah, just like kind of nasty normals, the one thing yeah. that she tries to do well. And then at that point, you're just playing a shittier version of Ultron, so there's just no reason. Okay, yeah, so... You got, you got Dante's heavy kick, Zero's, you know, no, normals. No, 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 Dorm's no. air heavy. I'm going to tell you, God, it's the secret about Captain Marvel, okay? The version that I know how Captain Marvel was supposed to be, okay? Which, but when, when they changed it, when they changed it, I thought it was still okay. But before, so remember right now, from what I can remember, when you charge the, the armor install special move that she does have you're basically have an armor to all to most projectiles i guess or all projectiles and all lights and mediums right but you don't have yep. anything from heavies is that correct yep okay so before you can still do with the heavy but you lose it right away you have one heavy armor so let's say uh, if she does have so so let's say she has the timer for full right yeah. She just charge it and yeah. you get hit by heavy it goes away but you armor the heavy but you lose it you lose the the, the charge so that would be pretty broken yeah that would have been nasty <laughs> so i don't it, it would have been really good against everybody probably except for dante obviously but fucking japan ruined my plants you know what i'm saying because they, <laughs> they made some decisions here like you know so that would have been nice um also yeah, her normals are also just horrible like all her standing yeah. normals are bad most of her air normals hit at awkward angles to where like they're not really good mm -hmm. and then her supers mm -hmm. don't do a lot of damage like she builds meter like crazy and blitzbow is still an annoying as fuck move but like the rest of her kid is just bad she loses yeah. health on an install that is useless like it's just yeah. bad oh man there's so much things like the their mama that i knew didn't even have a wave dash but then they gave him a wave dash here it's kind of oh yeah <laughs> yeah because... them giving Dorm, Dorm a wave dash is probably like the best buff you could ever have no, that's for. my fault I'm the one who said that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that's my you, fault. You created CJA for, for America? So no, that... no, no, that's really my fault because I've always been saying that. <laughs> How come he doesn't have wave dash? His buttons are already slow. Give him that. Whoop. Yep, next patch. That we just can't catch him. That yeah. we just can't catch him ever. No, that's my fault for sure. Yeah, th there's also like glitches that uh, some characters abuse that make them a lot better. Like, uh, zero. Previously, before Zero, so Zero has a thing called like a glide glitch where he does the command dash uh, glide. And uh, I think how it works, if there's like a projectile on screen, you could block it and it'll cancel the, oh, I can explain the it. dash I don't animation. Know it. So yeah, I don't know how to explain he, it well. Yeah, when you're uh, doing like a projectile, obviously when he does the, the dash, right, like he can just get hit out of it. Like yeah, it's yeah. been like that since Marvel 3. Uh -huh. In this game, for whatever reason, if a projectile is traveling back at you when you cancel into the dash, you can block, and it just throws you across the screen blocking. <laughs> what? Yeah. So I, yeah. You carry the whole momentum. The whole momentum of the dash, but you can block and use attack. So he can just, like, let's yeah. say he throws, you know, the charge buster into let it go, and it goes uh -huh. in the ground, stuff like that. Even if you reflect that, he'll dash over that and get all the momentum, and now he's on top of you doing pizza cutter. And it's like, what? Why? And it's oh, really, that really strong. That sucks. That's so. That's yeah. so it, it actually the only two guard, losing yeah. mad bad matchups he has is probably Dorm and Winter Soldier. Uh -huh. Now because of that glitch, it, you know Zero obviously beats, beats both of them. Yep. Oh, wow. His worst matchup is six four, in his favor. I think his worst matchup might be Hawkeye. Honestly, Hawkeye is really hard for him. Yeah, Hawkeye is always but been even, the even then. That beats him. Uh, even in MVC three, Hawkeye does so good against Zero. In general. Yeah, he just covers all the angles yeah. that he wants to come at. Like, so, it's just, it's really good. let's talk about Hawkeye for like, for a bit. So, what happens with him? Uh, like, I think... Oh, is I, 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 Space stone again. He was supposed to be shitty, okay? But then Dual Kevin made him really good. But then now, is it... Oh, oh, oh. He's really good. Dual Kevin didn't make... Dual Kevin didn't design the game. Whoever made this game made him really good. Dual Kevin yeah. exploited the things that were made good. No, I like, know. Like, Poison Arrow doesn't arrow? scale. It doesn't scale yeah. damage, and it does, I think it's 800 or something, like, flat damage. So when you're doing moves like Dante Crazy Dance, you basically start a combo, hit him with that. It doesn't add to combo scaling, but it does the damage. So, you know, let's say normally at 6,000 wow. damage, the character flips. So you can hit Poison Arrow, do Crazy Dance, do a normal combo, tag in Hawkeye, hit him again with the Poison Arrow, and it just ticks over and over. So you end up doing, like, 7,500, 8,000 damage combos that they don't flip out of. Because it doesn't affect scaling, like hit or uh, yeah. combo scaling. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. 
That's it's not nice. cool. It's broke. It's broke. Mm -hmm. So like, for example, when the cop nasty would, too. Yeah, like Dual Kevin would do. Uh, he would hit you with the, the, the poison arrow, and then he would do like the crazy dance, relaunch, That's hit nice. poison arrow, and do beehive, and beehive lasts forever. So then he comes in poison arrow supers, and it's like three poison arrows. You take mad damage. You're now full screen again with exploding arrows on the floor. It's just it's broke. Okay.